And let's get to our driving change series. We're looking at how even the smallest passengers in Southern Colorado face some dangers on the road. Yeah, after 40 years of having child safety seats, traffic accidents are still the biggest killer of our children. And News 5's Renee Skinner spoke to a state trooper about the right and the wrong way to buckle up your child. That's right, Bree, Ira. I spent several minutes with State Trooper Captain Brian Lyons practicing how to use a child safety seat. It's time consuming, complicated, and during some moments downright frustrating. But Captain Lyons says every minute is worth it if it can save a child's life. This is a test See, that took me, like this, a childless adult, I'm gonna set baby Renee down there real quick. over an hour to finally get right. Seats are made differently and there's so many seats out there that they're like, well, how do I know which is the right one to buy? But unfortunately, so many other parents fail. Every 33 seconds, one child under the age of 13 was involved in a crash. And on average, uh, about three children die every day. A shocking statistic that's hard to hear or imagine. And for parents, these crash images even harder to watch. This is video from the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration on what could go wrong if a child is not fastened or facing the right way or wearing the wrong clothing. You invest so much time, energy, and love to have a child. And then some of the things that we see time and time again is expired, cracked, or defected car seats, a costly mistake that Colorado State Trooper Captain Brian Lyons wants parents to avoid. At the end of the day, our goal is to make sure that the, the children leave safer than when they showed up. Starting with a car seat fit check. First things first, labels matter. Inspect the car seat, making sure it's not expired, and check to see if your child is the right size and height for the car seat. Renee Jr. is perfect fit for the seat. If the seat has an infant carrier, Put the base in first. This is what we're going to use to create that foot. Using a pool noodle to make sure the seat so is level. Okay. Oh, man. Now fit your baby into the harness. You just want to make it snug. And he or she is ready to get in. But wait. Make sure that you can take your hand and put it in between the back of the seat and the handle. Notice how the seat is facing backwards not forward. Keep them rear facing as long as possible. Uh, normally up until two years, American Pediatrics recommends about two. Captain Lyons says this allows the back of the car seat to absorb the brunt of the impact in a crash, protecting your child's spine from injury. Finally, strap your bundle of joy in with a blanket instead. Now, Brie, I read that last tip is so important because those poofy jackets like this one, well, they tend to have air in them. And when you right. buckle your child up in a jacket like this, the air tends to dissipate, making the seat fit actually looser than it is. It's just oh, things you forget about yeah. when your kids are grown or when you don't have kids. I'm oh, so man. used to it. But even my husband and I arguing last night because I read your script and I said, no, you can't put their jackets on under yeah. there. He says, why? Why? <laughs> it's cold See, outside. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. So just, people, I mean, even we do it 900 times a day and he still wants to put the puffy jackets See? under there. And mm. I, kudos to parents. Like, I admire <laughs> every you parent, to it. guardian, yeah. whoever you are, who puts that child in a seat daily because that is just complicated. And I see why parents may get confused as to, yeah. you know, am I doing this right? Is, there, is it the right seat? Is it the right fit? Yeah. So uh, definitely some good tips to keep in mind there. And maybe. anyone in that case, category so whether it's they want to double check on that they are doing it right yeah or maybe a rookie like yourself if like you were me. to yes have that anyone can get this done for free right right you just have to give captain Lyons a call that number you see it right there on the bottom of your screen and he can set you up with an appointment you can come in do a whole run through and he has a whole checklist uh, that he gives you to make sure you know exactly what you are doing before yeah. you get behind the wheel with your child it might seem little but this really is so important in yeah. our driving change series is all about identifying problems and seeking the solutions as Renee just did. If there's a problem that you notice on the roadways, we want to hear about it. Email drivingchange at koaa.com or send a message to our Driving Change Facebook page.